What's up guys, it's Jay, more than I have to kill, and we're back here in my motherfucking living room for my Xbox One Day One Launch Edition unboxing, and if you watched my PS4 unboxing last week, you know that I don't like to open boxes, so there you go, I'm sure you don't want to sit here and watch me open a goddamn box, but this is the entire contents of my Day One Launch Edition Xbox One, as you can see, there is the infamous bundle in Connect and the very sleek looking Xbox One case, which I actually like, and it has a lot of cooling for those of you guys that are worried about Red Ring of Death. It comes with a pretty beefy HDMI cable, a day one achievement, and some literature, and there's the power brick that I'm not happy to see. I'm not happy to see this goddamn thing returning, but it does come with a shitty Xbox headset. Those of you guys who remember last year's uh, version is pretty much the same, and it has a little bit of options there that you can mute and turn up the volume. And that's my day one Xbox One controller, which is very similar to the Xbox 360 controller, but if we flip it around the back, it no longer has the battery bulge. It still takes batteries, but it has a port on top that might maybe let you recharge this. I'm not sure, but the Xbox 360 One case looks very awesome, and I'm actually pretty happy with the way it looks, except the fact that it is huge, but you do get a lot of options back here. Look at all those HDMI ports. You got HDMI in, HDMI out, and those of you guys that are wondering what HDMI in is for, that is if you want to hook your cable up to your Xbox, and there's the $100 piece of shit that everybody hates is the Connect, which the government is going to use to spy on you. But, like I said, the case is a little bit big, it's a little bit bulky, a little bit cumbersome, and you're taking a look at my PS4 sitting on top of my Xbox. If I wasn't worried about my PS4 actually cooking on top of the Xbox, I probably would stack it up this way on my uh, entertainment stand, but that is a huge monstrous box. It's the size of a motherfucking VCR, but we all heard the motherfucking VCR jokes, but I'm pretty happy with this system. It looks pretty cool. I did buy Forza 5, and we're going to be getting into that for you guys in the next few days, because I know you guys, if you've been following my channel, you know I like to do paint jobs, and I like to do that with some pretty cool music over top, and paint jobs of other games. I like to mix it up, so my name is Jay. More than I have to kill, make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe, and thank you guys for watching. If you could leave a thumbs up on this video, I would highly appreciate it, because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. If you have any requests or any thoughts on what Xbox One games I should purchase in the future, let me know. But don't tell me Titanfall, because I'm already going to get Titanfall, motherfucker. So like I said, my name's Jay, more than I have to kill. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to see you guys later.